our um, Conservative MP at the moment, uh, I don't think he represents people in Harlow. You know, he went to a public school in Hampstead, in Highgate, and, uh, and, I, and I think the way that he's voting in Parliament is actually um, against the people that he represents in Harlow. And I can at least say that I'm from a regular working class family in Harlow, um, and I went to the schools here, and I will be a voice for the people of Harlow. I understand, I understand the struggles. I understand that housing is too expensive. I get it, because I'm in the same situation. You should represent someone that's like you, because they're going to have your back. They're going to understand where you're coming from. If you're voting for somebody that isn't from where you're from, or d d doesn't have financial struggles, then how are they going to really be able to relate to your problems? At least I've got those problems, and I've experienced them myself. What do you think you can do better than Robert Halpern? Everything. <laughs> so, um, I think that Robert Halpern, if you Google his voting record, it, it, it says it all. I don't really need to you know, take him down on a personal level, but his policies and his politics, um, they say it all. Um, for instance, he has voted 23 times against corporation tax. Uh, but at the same time, he's voted 49 times to reduce um, spending on welfare. Um, he voted consistently for education fees, consistently for um, academies and schools. Um, he, he, I think that his voting record speaks for himself, um, whereas I am on the side of the people in Harlow. Like I said, I'm just a regular woman that's grown up in Harlow and, and, uh, and I'll have everyone's back.